I think we all are the spoiled generation of tech, especially in coding. And why I'm saying that? So I was thinking that how did people used to learn to code prior to, let's say, this well-established internet? Now we have like websites like Stack Overflow, tools like ChatGPT. Like, how would you learn to code if you don't have those tools? And people used to do that. Like, you need to remember, there's a time. I think C, I think, came in 70s or 80s, right? So people have been coding since 70, even before that, we had like Fortran, before that we were like using those vacuum tubes, right? So we've been coding for a long time, like almost 50, 60 years, maybe more than that, right? Maybe 70 years. But the point is like, how did prior to internet people learn to code, which is completely different than how we do it today. And I think there is something we need to learn from people who used to do that before we had like these, uh, these tools. So this is a case against online tutorials. And we have watched, I made a lot of videos on that. Like people made a lot of videos like on tutorial hell and all those things that like we just forever stuck in tutorial hell and we are not able to code properly. And I'm, I'm the victim of that too. Remember like I started coding, I think seven years ago. Um, I started my coding from watching tutorials and I'm not saying they're bad, but now in retrospect, I'm thinking, what if I, instead of started coding via internet what if i had started with let's say books even though i had few books but the problem i had with the books like books were so outdated right so everything in tech changes so fast i was like i need to learn fast and i need to get a job in like six months or one year right so if i have a strict deadline then i'm not able to learn from a book because i i won't be able to spend that much time and this is what the cost of learning to code from video tutorials instead of reading documentation and like doing or building things with hand. The problem with tutorials is simple, like they give you a full map, they give you everything. Like you don't need to think. And if you think about that, coding is all about thinking. You can't just like cram things in coding. It just doesn't work. Like people do like lead code cramming, like they remember like uh, hundreds, 200 questions, right? And which is good for interviews. Like if you want to clear or crack in interviews, like maybe it's, it's it's better to learn those algorithms and, and like learn how to use that. I'm not making a video on DSA or whatever, but I'm talking about like learning to code, like the fundamentals. I think the fundamental way we learn to code in 2025 is broken. And especially with AI, now it's on steroid. If you're starting learning to code now, like you started last year, you're just doing literally everything wrong. And I know it's a big statement, but it is a correct statement because if you see how people used to like learn to code, like sometimes they go to college and college were teaching really good coding classes because like nobody was doing that, right? So there were very few people who want to learn those skills and there were very few teachers. If you go to YouTube, you'll find those older videos and see, and you'll see like how they're teaching. Nowadays, everything is so much rush, like everything like in a class, they'll teach you Python next year, they'll teach you C and then C++. They'll teach you a bunch of programming languages, but coding is not about learning programming language. It's big, it's broad. It's about thinking about problems. And tutorials are the worst way of thinking about problems. Nowadays, like everyone wants to learn a framework. I preach that, like learn frame, learn React, right? Because you get a job. Yes, you get a job, but in the long term, you, you'll be so helpless, I think, because you'll you'll be learning from someone teaching you like do these 10 things, maybe you don't join a bootcamp, do these 10 things, do these interview preparation, and then you'll get a job and you get a job. And then you will always think that coding is just like this little bubble. Like this is the only thing I'm supposed to do. I'm just only supposed to do React. I'm just only supposed to do, let's say, Django, or Python, or Flask, whatever, right? You just confine yourself in a small sphere. but. Coding is big, it's huge, there's so many problems need to be solved. So many problems we already solved and we are like, we're solving them again and again and again. Like this is like what happened with all the JavaScript libraries, virus, right? I don't want to like talk too much about it. My point is, if you want to learn to code, I think once in a while, just knock yourself out of internet, get a book, learn language, learn an old language, right? Maybe learn Lisp, maybe learn Fortran, maybe learn Cobalt. I don't know, like learn those older languages because you won't find video tutorials on those, right? So those are the best. And try to make small programs, small software with those technologies. And I think this is the best way to learn to code. There's no other way. If I can give you 100 tutorials and you can go through. And one of the other issues I have with tutorials are like, they're too long now. Like people put like 10, 
12, 15 hours long tutorials. I mean, who has, I mean, who can sit for 15 hours in front of like a video tutorial and and can just go through all like hardly 1% of people can do that. So I don't know why people do that. I think you should make a tutorial like why you come up with something rather than how. How is not important. How was never important. Even with AI, AI can give you all the code. But if you don't understand the why, why you did that, why you use this particular hook, why didn't you use that? I mean, I'm just giving an example right from the context of React. Why? Why is the important thing, not how? AI can give you all the hows in the world. But if you don't get the why, you will be a bad programmer. I'll be a bad programmer if I don't understand the why. So this is my advice if you want to learn to code um, in 2025, ditch tutorials or do just the minimum so that you can get okay that's the basic idea okay this is how like we do things in react or like how we do in javascript like how you do in python or go right get the basic maybe just watch them passively doing like or do x3 x3 right and then grab a book go to documentation and try to build stuff and don't ask too many questions to chat gpt or google try to think maybe stuck on a problem for a few days that's okay i mean this is what we used to do this is what people used to do and now we have ai like everything you'll get in a matter of seconds which is bad which is bad for learning perspective from company's perspective they'll get the shop software delivered fast but that's the video on some other day today's video was about how to learn to code and how people used to do that thanks a lot for watching